I called the meeting to order. First on the agenda, are there any changes or additions, Eric? There are a couple of changes and a little bit of restructuring. We've, uh, we've we, I say we. Sarah has spent a lot of time on the phone with uh, Jim Barlow, our attorney, just because of the process here uh, for the drafting of the actual articles. Uh, we want to make sure it's legal. We want to make sure it's right. So right. we sent off what the first draft we had to Jim for review. And he came back with a couple of suggestions. We had a couple of articles that restructured. Then he came back with another one in reference to the, uh, the bridge work, whereby the financing is over five years in length. So it has some special requirements attached to it. I'm not going to get into those. Sarah, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to the agenda. But if we could please take the agenda in this order. Formally, uh, to the, formally approve the 22-23 budget. And we, okay. we all gave the head nod, folks gave the head nod that night, but I guess we just forgot yeah. to do an official motion right. accepting the budget <clears throat> okay. as, as it was completed. Then following that will be to approve the warning itself. Okay. And then following that is approve the bridge resolution. And that's what uh, Sarah will explain to you when we get to that. We have both a updated version of the warning and a copy of the resolution in your packets now that are zero past out. Okay. And then the last one will be to approve the commingling of school ballots. And again, Sarah will explain that when we get there. Okay. I'm going to change that. Okay. We're going to just approve the mailing of school ballots. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So first, um, budget approval. So I move to approve the FY 22-23 budget as presented at the January 10th, 2022 final budget hearing. I have a motion by Gary. Do I have a second? I second that motion. I have a second by Jess. Is there any further discussion about this? <clears throat> All in favor say aye. 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 I want to do it by roll. Yeah, I will. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. Any opposed? Motion is passed unanimously. <coughs> um, next, approve the 2022 annual town meeting warning. So we have it in front of us. Do you want to talk about the updates you made to this? Yeah, so can you hear me at home, Judy? And Brian and audience? Or do you yes. Know? Okay. Um, so the only difference between, there's two tiny differences between what went out last Friday and now is um, Jim Barlow, the attorney, suggested we remove the line about the informational meeting and just make it a separate agenda warning. And there was a missing question mark at the end of one of them. I don't remember which one. Okay. Yeah, they all have them now. Um, where's the informational meeting? It's not on the copy that's in front of you now. Oh. It's on the one that you were mailed on Friday. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Okay, so the one in front of us right now is the one we're approving. Yes. With the changes, the and receiving the mail Friday it should be thrown away. That's and what about Judy and Brian? Do they have the updated one? No. So it's whatever you had on Friday, just with an added question mark in the removal of the informational, um, the line about the informational meeting. You got it, Judy. Yes. How about you, Brian? No. You don't. You don't have the one from Friday. I don't think so. Can you, can you check your can you check your email there? Uh -huh. We could resend it. <clears throat> Let me check. Okay. Can you send that to him right now? Yep. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm not seeing. Can you show me where where we're taking out the informational meeting? But I don't. Should be at the very end or close to the end. Okay. Yeah. I don't have the older version. I do remember seeing that, but I'm not yeah. seeing it now. Yeah, it's just not, it's, it's not in this new one. It's not. This is my, the old one. Oh, that one is? Yeah. It should be on there. Or maybe it's on the one previous to that. I saw it too. Right here is where. Yeah, so you're asking about the MCC? 
course, I'm looking through the article. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And see, it's gone in this new one. So why are we not holding? So why are you we are going to hold? Are you asking about the information on the yeah. You're going to have it. Mm -hmm. um, Jim's suggestion is just putting it on a separate piece of paper so it stands out separate from the warning. And so it's not on the town warning. Yeah. So it's just not on this warning, but it'll it'll be like an agenda for a different warning that's hung up right next to the warning. Oh, gotcha. okay. Okay. I don't remember we ever having it on our warning. Um. Yeah. So Dan always wrote the warning before it was on there. I did take a training last week with VLCT, and they said you could put it on there, but they also recommended that Not it was doing separate. It. Okay. I think just so it stands out to people more, so they don't miss it. Okay. So we'll approve that, but just separately. The informational meeting. Yeah. Yeah, not necessarily tonight. The informational meeting okay. is um, sort of. It. Uh, you have to have it within ten days of the town meeting. Okay. Right. But it's more just like a regular meeting. Right. Okay. Brian, did Sarah just resent that to you? Did you get it? No. Not yet. I'm for some reason I'm not getting anything today on that on that uh <clears throat> um app. It's probably my phone. Right. I wonder if we could text it, text the three pages or text the pages to you. See if you got it that way. Sure. You have his number, Sarah. She's got to try to text those pages to you, Brian. Okay. So this screen share would work too, right? But are we going to go down through the articles anyway? We're going to read each one. Just to verify that's how we want to have them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, and I think it's good for the public to hear yes. the, the articles before they, they see them. They'll, they'll get heads up. Okay, so I'm going to read them, Brian. I'm going to go down. Okay. There. Yep. So I'll tell Bob, you. Be, Bob, before you start, so after each one, if we have questions, should we ask or should we wait till you're finished? You can ask to each one. We'll go line by line and stop. That way we don't get lost. So as presented, it's a warning town of Morristown annual town meeting, March 1st, 2022. The legal voters of the town of Morristown are hereby warned and notified to meet in the Morristown Municipal Building, 43 Portland Street in said town on March 1st, 2022 at 8 a.m. to transact the following business by Australian ballot. Article one, to elect a town moderator for the year ensuing. Is that right? In ensuring. Oh, it's, it's spelled wrong. It should be ensuing year, not yeah, ins I, ensuring uh, year. Is that right? Yeah. It shouldn't be ensure. For the ensuing year. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone okay with that? Yeah. Article hey, Bob. Two. Yes. So I do have that. I picked that up at the office the other day so i've got that okay so i, I can't get so the only change is one of those articles does not have a question mark and it's supposed to i'm not I, i'm not i don't know which one it is and okay. then the other change is that second paragraph down from the top um about the public informational hearing is not yes. going to be on there okay okay other than I, that you're reading the same thing we are okay thank you okay no thank you Article two, to elect all town officers required by law. First constable for a term of one year, second constable for a term of one year, library trustee term of five years, library trustee term of five years, lister for a term of three years, select board member for a term of three years, select board member for a term of two years, select board member for a term of one year, unexpired three year term, and trustee of public funds for a term of three years. Does that sound good? I was going to ask Sarah. So the select board members are all going to be on the ballot, those who are running and if names have been submitted to you. So other people running for Article 1 and Article 2, they're going to have to campaign and ask people to write their names in? 
Now, everybody's going to be on a ballot that turned in their consent of candidate by 5 o'clock tonight. So that I got everything, at least one person is running for everything except for one of the library trustees. Do you want to list the people that are running? Thank you. Yeah. Sure. So first, Constable Richard um, Keith. Second, Constable Brian Tomlinson. Library trustee, I think her name was Michelle McDonald. Yeah. Um, the other library trustee, um, I didn't get one for, Lister Charlie Burnham. Select board member for a three-year term is Gary Nolan and Don McDowell. Okay. Select board member for a two-year term is Judy Bickford, Chris Wiltshire, Paul Winters, and Laura Streets. Four candidates. Yeah. Yep. And select board member for the one year of the unexpired term is Jessica Graham and Brent Labrie. Okay. And trustee of public funds is Angela Mortar. Okay. Very good. I'm glad you read those. <clears throat> is everybody okay with those? Yep. All right. Yes. Article three. Yeah. Oh, um, sorry. I had another question. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, on the on the paperwork to submit for uh, candidacy, it said that you could put your party down, but that was only if your town had. So we don't do that. No, you don't do a party. Okay. You only need to do a party if you're running for justice of the peace, but that's done up by party level, anyways. Right. Unless you run independent, unless you're running as rep, like for rep. state reps and all that, but right. not not for local government. Okay. Okay. Article three. Shall the voters authorize the select board to appoint a first constable and, if needed, a second constable in accordance with 17 BSA 265-1A? And that, you, you said who they were. So, uh, historically, the first and second constable have been elected positions. Um, with Eric and I speaking to Jim Barlow. He suggested this. He suggested this as we have... Um, a police department and um, our constables don't act um, they, they don't really perform any okay duties. so he's he he highly recommended that we put this article on okay I don't know if Eric has anything is everybody okay with that so what it does mean this this article will take effect next year next year right okay the, Not the, the two folks running for the offices this year Will need to be. I mean, those offices will need to be elected into this year. Okay. This this article, if approved, would mean that next year the select board has the authority to appoint the first constable and, if needed, the second constable. But since they don't do anything, right. Okay. Is there some way we should put a date in there so people yeah. know what? The, that sounds confusing. I was going to say that too, Judy. This is written in state law. It has to be written like that. It has to be written just like that. Yeah, I, I knew that was the case. That's going to be so confusing. Yeah, it, it totally is, but yeah. that's legal jargon. We can go over this, the informational meeting as well. Yeah, that's right. a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> Article 4, shall the voters establish a reserve fund to be called the general fund unallocated reserve fund in an amount not to exceed 10% of the prior year's audited general fund balance to be used for covering unanticipated revenue shortfalls and to pay unanticipated general fund expenditures in accordance with 24 VSA 2804. So we've had this in practice. It, yeah, that here, here. This is the unallocated funds uh, yes. taken from uh, uh, leftover funds from the year before. Yeah. And all we're doing at this point is establishing these funds, which we have to do by law, and then we are putting uh, a, a value in them, which is the equivalent of ten percent of the operating budget, not the overall. Right. But yeah. The operating budget for the general budget. Everyone okay with that? Eric, I, I think I heard you say, Eric, this is something that occurs every year. Correct. This is. It's a. We're formalizing again with Jim Barlow's assistance and guidance here. We're formalizing some of these. Uh, such that voters have, are giving the recognition and approval 
though we've been doing this for, for years and nobody's questioned it, is just a cleaner way of doing business. Right. It's a good way to be transparent. Yes. And we, and we hadn't named the fund. Now we're giving the fund an actual, actual name. name. Right. Okay. All right. Article 5. Shall the voters establish a reserve fund to be called the Highway Fund Unallocated, unallocated Reserve Fund in an amount not to exceed 10% of the prior year's audited highway fund balance to be used for covering unanticipated revenue shortfalls and to pay unanticipated highway fund expenditures in accordance with 24 BSA 2804. Same as what we've always done. It is, again, it's a formalization of the process and it is uh, from the prior year's audited highway fund balance. So okay. That's, that's what I'm we can't, the reason that, uh, another part of the reason for formalizing this and separating the two is you can't, uh, you can't commingle the funds. Right. So general funds can be used for highway purposes, but highway funds cannot be used for general government purposes. Right. Okay. All right, everyone okay with that? We'll do Article 6. Shall the voters authorize total fund expenditures for operating expenses of $8,104,941, of which $6,616,549 shall be raised by taxes and $1,488,392 by non-tax revenues? We're not okay with that? Article 7, shall the voters authorize bridge repair and replacement in the town of Morristown in an amount not to exceed $510,000 to be financed over a period not to exceed 10 years? Do you want to speak about that? Yeah, uh, this, uh, this article is in reference to the Walton Road Bridge, which is right at the intersection of Cole Hill Road and Walton Road. Uh, we had a failure on that bridge last spring, a hole developed in the bridge structure and uh, it was repaired um, with a large steel plate and a recovering of that. But it was a temporary fix. We knew that bridge needed to be replaced. Uh, our engineer has uh, given us a construction estimate cost of $510,000. And uh, so that's why we're, we have the, the money asked in there for that. Okay. Is the, the, the recourse on this, because this is also the bridge that the state inspected last fall. Right. I brought you folks a certificate for signature acknowledging that inspection. Yes. And their recommendations. So we, we really don't have, uh, we don't really have any options on this that need to be replaced. So, I mean, it's, it, I really, it's, I'm hoping this passes, put it that way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Article I want to ask a question about this. I'm wondering, Eric, that um, we don't know about the infrastructure money right now, but this possibly could be taken care of through those funds. Uh, no, I can't, Judy. I'm sorry. It's, I believe me, I'm looking for any means of getting uh, grant funds available, but the structures grants that we would normally apply for for this take a couple of years to process through. We don't have the time available for that. Right. The uh, ARPA money, infrastructure money, uh, won't be released in time for us. This bridge needs to be constructed next summer. We're on a very short timeline for this. Okay. Um, and then is that going to be financed through a, um, traditional methods or through a bond? Or I mean, um, well, well, it's not a no. bond. It's going out to the banks for yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. They'll, they'll compete for the warrant. So. Okay. Right. Good. Good question. Okay. Article eight. Uh, Bob, before we turn the page, we had a question mark question earlier. Is that uh, Article 4, should there be a question mark at the end of that? That, yeah. might, that might have been where I asked. That is where we missed it, but the new one has it. The one, This one here has it. That's the one you oh, have? Oh, over here. Yes. Okay. That is where we're missing it, because I right. found it on mine too. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, Article 8, shall the voters authorize asphalt paving of various town roads in an amount not to exceed $500,000 to be financed over a period not to exceed five years? Uh, we put this one here, the timing of it is, is, uh, is nothing special about it except that 
five years ago, we came to the voters and asked for $500,000 for specific groups for paving our roads. That five-year note uh, expires this year. Right. The last payment we made in May. Um, this $500,000, again, it just continues our move forward to get our roads back into a condition that we can all travel while keeping our false teeth in right. and uh, not jostling any loose. So um, we have our annual amount in our budget, $190,000 in our operational budget. Right. This $500,000 of that added to that along with state aid money that we're getting for Randolph Road and Stagecoach Road. Right. The, the larger amount of money that we have with this approval would uh, are to get us a better price per ton on blacktop because we're buying larger quantity and uh, whatever company would be awarded the bid, that's what we're looking for, like competitive per ton cost. Right. That. Okay. Everyone all right with that? <clears throat> Article 9. Shall the voters authorize payment of real and personal property taxes in two equal installments, with the due dates being November 15th, 2022, and May 15th, 2023, by physical delivery to the town treasurer before 4 p.m. on that date, or delivery to the municipal office postmarked on or before that date? Everyone okay with that? Is that, again, something that's just written by law? Um, sort of. Is there something you want to change it to? Um, it seems confusing. That the, is the town treasurer um, housed in the municipal offices? Yep, it's me. That's okay. Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Um, why? I guess it, it, it seems confusing to me. It seems like the town treasurer location is different than the... Let me go see. Yeah, because I have the BLCC model um, things around. Okay. Yeah, we have gone over this in the you past. Have, yeah, yeah okay. a few times. Yeah. And it's it's morphed into this. This okay. one. Okay. This is the <clears throat> Yeah, okay. and and that doesn't mean it's not confusing. It right. still may be, but. Yeah. I remember going over this a few times, Sarah, over the past couple of years. Some communities, the town treasurer and the town clerk are two different people. Yeah. Uh, and on many, they may be even located in different buildings. Right, right. You know, right. Right. have to be fortunate enough to have somebody qualified to do both jobs. Right. Okay. This is how it should be. Shall the voters authorize payment of real and personal property taxes in insert number installments? We do two. So two equal installments, with the due dates being insert due date by insert either physical delivery to the tax collector before 5 p.m. on that date or delivery to the town hall postmarked on or before that date, depending on whether there is a desire to allow postmarks as proof of on-time delivery. Oh, okay. So do we need it to say that? Well, well because I think it's... It, it, it doesn't say that. It does, because, because if we're allowing for postmarks, then it would say, or would it just say, a physical delivery to the town treasurer or municipal office before 4 p.m. on that date or postmarks on or before that date. Are we allowing for postmarks? Or you, you want physical, you want them physically here? Well, I tried to change that. You did, she and, did. Um, I will never ask for anything again. I know. <laughs> this is the one we deliberated for a long time. Well, I remember talking about something in town meeting around that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it got voted down. It did. Okay. Sure, and it was a long was, town meeting discussion about it. I think I was there. I think I was there. To the town the yeah. The we spent an hour on it, I think. Oh, yeah. Would that be sufficient? Would that work? Physical delivery to the town, town treasurer, treasurer at the municipal office. At the municipal office before. Well, it has 
parentheses, so I don't. Okay, I know you're following the guidance you have. I don't want to rewrite it. I don't know. But we want to. These things are. Yeah. So they're in parentheses. So I mean, I did change tax collector. Well, I think if one is if you're physically bringing it, one is if you're bringing it, because if you're physically bringing it, yeah, she wanted it, but the people voted it down. She wanted it to be postcard, and people didn't want that. Right. Yeah, your spare, I know. I know. We were at the board on the board going, oh my god. And there were so many different opinions. It was crazy. I don't know. So Jim Barlow, that is not what he brought to our attention. Okay. We okay. This from so, do you want to change it? Do we want to change it, or no? I mean, I don't, I don't want to make like it sounds like this has already been a discussion. But to me, as a taxpayer, I would just be like, oh, so can I post date it? You know, I'm gonna. No, no, no you it's got to have a postmark. Post and not, you not post date it. Um, post can it be postmarked? Yeah, and then so is it if it's postmarked on the fifteenth or the the, the um, on the fifteenth of November or May? It's okay. That's yep. okay. To me, it, it doesn't read that way. To me, I would be like, oh gosh, I don't know if postmark counts. Well, it says or delivery to the municipal office postmark on or before that date. Yeah, it does say it. But it says. So delivery, what's, what's confusing is the delivery to, like that verb, that I'm confused about where that verb goes. Well, it's one or the other. It says this or that. Or You're delivery. either physically delivering it to me uh -huh. by 4 o'clock on that day. Or, or postmarked. I think it, and then it the just say or postmarked to the, to the municipal office. Or postmarked on or before that. Or postmarked to the municipal office on or before that. Because the, uh, it makes sense to me the way it reads, but I understand what you're saying. It's, it's either one or that. The issue is that there's a lot of outdated verbiage in, in the state. whole law. Okay. I mean, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay letting it be. I just um, I don't, have you not have you not had any issues with people um, post understanding that they can have. Of Has anybody yeah, disputed but that's it? Yeah, my job. Yeah, yeah. It's my, I deal with it. Right. Um, every time. That's, that's not annoying. You're willing to accept it being written like this and deal uh, with any. Yeah. So they either, you know, and it's strict. You're here at four, yeah. four o'clock on the day that we close, right. and then um, after that, because um, the previous select board and the voters have voted that they want that they want to allow postmark because you can't guarantee the mail right. to be here on time. I mean, we received in the office today uh, a notice that we were closing the street down for Halloween, and it came back undeliverable today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't always trust the post um, office. So yeah, so then um, we look at when we get tax payments, and we look, it has to be a US post office cancellation. It can't be you run it through the postage machine. Right. You have to physically bring it into the post office, and right. if it has that date on right. it, we accept it. OK. OK. All right. So we, yeah, we don't want to change it because we're worried that by state law, we can't, it would. It would. That's, that's my okay. recommendation. Okay. All righty. Article 10. Shall the voters authorize raising taxes equal to one cent on the grand list to be dedicated to the Morristown Fire Department Capital Equipment Fund? That's unchanged, right? That's unchanged. That's a continuation. Here. Many years. Yes, and the reason for that is to help to offset the highs and lows of the budgeting processes right. because they don't buy fire trucks every year. Yes. So there will be so many years by putting money into this in this fashion, by the time we're ready to buy another fire truck, we have a, a lot of money set up to help defray the cost of that purchase. So. Right. Okay. 
Article 11, shall the voters authorize raising taxes equal to one cent on the grand list to be dedicated to our Morristown Highway Department capital permit fund? The same as the fire department. Article 12, shall the voters authorize raising taxes equal to one half cent on the grand list to be dedicated to the Noise House Museum Repair and Maintenance Fund? This half cent is, a, is not a forever half cent. Uh, this one, uh, their major structural repairs are ongoing. They've repointed the chimneys, they've uh, reset the bases of the four chimneys. Yeah. Um, they currently are in the process of putting, a, are going to have plaster in the spring of the year. They're going to replaster the inside. The old plaster is falling off. Mm -hmm. So uh, as soon as the major repairs are completed, that half cent will go away as a, as a request. Okay. Article 13, shall the voters authorize raising taxes equal to one half cent on the grand list to be dedicated to the Morristown Conservation Commission Fund? This, uh, this half cent this is a new ask of the taxpayers and is being asked in order to raise or grow their, uh, their existing Conservation Commission Fund to allow in the amount uh, in the area of one hundred thousand yeah. uh, dollars, a half a cent currently is in the thirty five thousand yeah. dollar yeah. range, give or take. Don't hold me to that exact number. Right. Um, so over the next um, two, possibly three years, looking to have the half cent ask until that account comes up to the whole one hundred thousand dollar mark. And the reason for that being, in the event. Uh, the piece of property comes up available that has um, great benefit to the taxpayers and residents of Morrisville for conserve, uh, conservation purposes or um, to conserve it, that they would have monies available and the monies have to be authorized for expenditure by the select board uh, to enter into a negotiation for that property and have some capital available to secure, uh, you know, secure that, that agreement. Should it become available? Currently, they, they don't. They don't have uh, a lot of money. They have right around the thirty thousand dollar mark. Once of which is going to get spent with Ryan Palm parking. Right. So I know Ron was saying they are interested in maybe three years of this, and then it would go so away. There's no long term ask here. It's a couple yeah. of years to, to get us to that hundred thousand dollar range. Yeah. In that okay. All right. Article fourteen. Shall the voters appropriate a sum of $101,969 for the following service agencies pursuant to 24 VSA 2691? Sarah, uh, Hyde has received the uh, annual requirement of a request from each of these. Uh, That's what we requested, right? Yep, and uh, we are in the process now of We've made contact with a couple of them, as was agreed to uh, during town meeting. The voters asked the board a number of years ago to, to be there. Please have these folks come in and talk to you. Right. Not a town meeting, but to talk to you during a board meeting to explain what it's why for. they need the money and how they can put it to use. And, yes. Uh, we're, right now, we've, we've heard back from at least one of our asks for this year, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll get those scheduled in, in February. Okay, just should I read them out or is it okay? They're the same as every year. Yeah. The only one that dropped off, dropped off a year ago, and that was for the Congregational Church. They've had an after school program. Right. And because of COVID, they stopped it and uh, declined the financing that year. And they've since contacted us and said they are no longer going to provide that program. Yep. Okay. You, I was curious. Go ahead, I was Judy. Curious, I was curious about the. Um, E equals MC squared. Yeah. Are they still in business? They uh, their request came in on the last day for deadline. They, they met the deadline. I know they may they may have asked, but I'm just wondering. I haven't seen or heard them. You know, but if they're still offering their services. I, Dave McAllister. Uh, at this point, I don't know how formalized it is, but Dave McAllister is working on. Uh, I, I'm not privy to it exactly, but I know that Dave McAllister is involved in some way of uh, getting that uh, under new management. I'll use that term for lack of a better term, but they're going to reinvigorate that program because it had a lot of positive aspects to it. 
and they'd like to see if they're continue to be funded at the current level. I know that we get a some kind of financial statement. Have we received their financial statement? We don't get financial statements. We don't. We, we simply get a letter every year. Uh, we give a deadline in early January and have their, their request into us to continue the funding. I, I know that Sarah Hyde had asked for Habitat's financial statement. I think we do ask for financial okay. statements. I don't know if everybody gives them or not. Right. That not would sure. be a question for Sarah Hyde. Yeah. Are we able to, <clears throat> this is, once someone submitted their request, can, can we approve or, or deny it here before it goes to the voter? No. 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 The the no. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have another question. About, um, is this something about, um, again, the formalization of the warning that we say the ballot, you know, the, the polls open at 8 a.m. Um, that we're not mentioning that we're mailing ballots? Um, that may be confusing because this, this warning will be in the paper. Yeah, the warning will be in the paper for three weeks. The warning will be on the website. Yeah. I um, put it on for Ports Forum. It'll be in five different locations around town. Are we allowed, can we put a statement in here about the fact that all registered voters are receiving? Um, I don't think we can put it on the warning. I think that needs to be separate, separate. Okay. communication. Okay. We just do a good job by notifying people. They voted at the last meeting they were going to mail out all the ballots. We did. Yeah. Not posted paid, but. You was going to talk. I understood you were going to see if, if, uh, if they returned uh, the ballots, you know, uh, would they have... Yeah, that motion failed, though. That, okay. that motion okay. didn't pass. So there's no sense of me bringing that up. Right. Mm -hmm. That failed. Jess had brought that motion up, and it failed. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's it. So, do I hear a motion to approve the warning as presented? I move. Don't move. Oh. Gary's got a written out motion. Can you read it, Judy? You can second it, Judy. <laughs> I move to approve the warning for the 2022 annual town meeting as presented. Second. I have a motion by Gary and I have a second by Judy. Right? Yeah. Any further discussion on this? All in favor say aye. 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 Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion is passed unanimously. What happens if they vote something is voted? Then it doesn't happen. Yeah, you don't have to go back. Right. Each one take, take it, it separately. It depends on what it is. It does, yeah. It depends on what it is, but the it won't pass as presented. If the government budget does not pass, right. we need we would have to come back for a special Sarah help me from mom. We would have to come back for a special meeting with a, a modified budget yes. until voters approve it. Can't go without an operator. Yeah, it has to. That's why I say it depends on which one. Oh. It's happened to the school several times, but it hasn't happened to us in the time I've been on for 14 years. Yeah. But it could. It could potentially. Yeah. That's a good question. All right, the bridge resolution, Eric. I do have an official uh, signature page for the uh, pass that around. Judy and Brian, when you have a moment tomorrow, if you can stop in to sign the uh, articles, they'll be on Sarah Hyde's desk. The warning. Okay. Thank you. All right. So the resolution is, um, do you want me to put that there? So um, because the term of financing is over five years for the bridge, there's a lot of statutory guidelines of um, extra steps we have to take 
and one is for you to sign a resolution uh, about um, this article. So you have it in your new yeah. packet. Um, Judy okay. and Brian, I can be checking and email you right now. The first couple of times you said that, I thought you were saying be tacky. <laughs> I was yeah, like, it's not tacky. And then I was like, oh, it's tacky. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'm smart okay. enough to do this on my phone. So we may have another question for the vote. How are the voters going to be informed if they have to, what they have to do to get the balance? Me. What are you going to do? Man? Put the word out. Front door yeah. for so how, how? So how I, I've that? already started to update the website. Yeah. So it's on there. And now that I have all the information, then I'll put stuff on Front Porch Forum. I send stuff to the radio. Okay. Do you have any suggestions? Facebook. Oh, yeah, Facebook. I, I write a press release, and once once the warning, warning is signed, then it's when I start to put out all the information, because I don't want to do it too soon, right. because I would have given the wrong information. Right. And then, is there, do you have like a frequency that you put it out, or do you have any kind of schedule? I do not. Okay. Maybe that's something we could touch on at another, at another meeting. You could just look at a calendar and say. Um, Honestly, I usually only put it out like twice. Okay. I, I get so busy. Yeah. I put it out once, sort of towards the beginning, and yeah. then once closer. Closer. And hope that um, other people spread the word. Okay. I usually ask the BCA to yeah. help spread the word. Yeah, I'd be happy if you can um, get if you have the standard. What wording, I, yeah. I, I can help do that, and then, like, uh, like you're saying, other members of the BCA. I read it, and I worked, I worked again late Friday night, adding more stuff to the election pages on, on the website too, trying to update. I have created pages with the old information, and now everything's changed, and now I'm recreating. It's, it's constantly changing. Thank you. I've noticed it's, it's evolving. I, I see the work. Thank you. Okay, so, so we want to. Brian, I think I just sent you the resolution. I got it. Brian. Not yet. Oh, because I emailed it. Sorry, Brian. I will text yeah. it. You gotta text oh, it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and then the radio, sir. You put it. Is that WLBB? Just got it. I, I write got a it. Um, press release and then I put it out. I just send the same message everywhere. Okay. Okay. Is the resolution just part of our minutes? Is that what that is? It needs to be signed. It has to be signed. We have to make a motion to approve it. Judy and Brian, when you come in to sign the warning tomorrow, we'll have this resolution ready for you for signature as well. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, with that, I move to approve the resolution. <coughs> I move to approve the resolution for bridge repair and replacement in the town of Morristown. I have a motion by Gary. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Judy. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. Motion, motion is passed unanimously. So now, <clears throat> approve the mailing of school annual meeting ballots. So this is, um, the law just changed and the school board does not have the authority to vote on whether or not they want to mail everybody their ballots until um, the, each select board has given their approval and their blessing for them to do so.
so if they want. So um, they had already approved to do it, but um, we have to approve, allow them to do that before they can do that. So. Okay. So can we, we can't approve this then? No, you can, you can, you approve can decide this. if you want to allow the school to um, mail out their ballots or not. Okay. And then they decide, and then they can. And then they can decide, decide if they want to or not. Yeah, they need our Right. Stuff, it's fine to me it's if they to want me. to. Yeah. I move to allow the Lamoille South Unified Union School District to mail all active registered voters their ballots for the 2022 annual meeting. I have a motion by Gary. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Brian. Any further discussion? Uh, yes. I, I'm curious about how this is going to work for Sarah and the office staff. What part? The ballot? Mail, uh, mailing the ballots. Is it going to be something that the BCA is going to have to do along with you? Yes. And then um, did you say originally the discussion had been around commingling them and is that not on the table um, anymore um well it's not your decision that's a um, school board decision they actually had a special meeting um th this afternoon and they voted to a um not require commingling there was emergency legislation about it due to covid this year so each town can actually put the school ballot on the ballot and we can just mail one ballot in one envelope to voters it'll save uh, and then we can split the cost with this school so it'll save money so to belabor this issue if we're splitting the cost with the school does that change anything around our decision to not put postage on the um <clears throat> on the ballots Return postage. Is that that's a question? Can that no, open it? Not me. Can that can that open up? Because so then instead of the additional two thousand dollars to um, include return postage, now it'll only be a thousand. Doesn't change my mind. I'm wondering too if the cost is still more because you're going to have um, another ballot plus another envelope. No, inside no, to send no, it back. Saying, Sarah's saying it's going to be on the same piece of paper in the same envelope. Hopefully it'll all fit on one ballot. Right. I will tell you that Stowe and Elmore, I was told both voted similarly to Morristown that they are mailing everybody their ballots, but they are not paying for return postage. And they don't have nearly as many either. All right, is there any more, more discussion on this? All in favor say aye. 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 Brian. Aye. 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 Opposed. Motion is passed unanimously. Is there any other business? <laughs> Just a comment from me. That ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you, this information has changed as recently as in the last the half hour before our meeting because Sarah and I have been talking right up until the last minute about how to uh, redo the agenda. And as I said to you, we were going to be talking about commingling the school ballots. Sarah said, I'm going to change that. That's how quick this information has been changing. And much of this is due to the legislation coming out so recent uh, from the governor about the changes based on COVID and the changes for our election. This has been an incredibly taxing year for our town clerk as she has been tried having to communicate with school officials, other clerks, uh, and, and uh, her, the, I call the town clerk mafia, they have a, a communication uh, <laughs> system that Sarah designed and was uh, awarded uh, a recognition of. I just want to say, folks, that Sarah has done a phenomenal job staying on top of this. Jim Barlow has been uh, invaluable in giving guidance. This has been a very challenging year to make sure we've done this right, perhaps correcting some, just cleaning up some stuff from the years past. But I think you're going to find you have a very, very legal and clean document here, but a lot of work done for that office. Great. 
Yeah, and she's available on Sundays for my, my text, too. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Anything else? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. Motion by Judy. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Gary. All in favor say aye. 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 Brian. Aye. Brian. Brian. He's already gone. I'm done. Yeah, he's already gone. <laughs> Sorry, I. <laughs> Any opposed? Motion is passed. We are adjourned. Bye, Judy. Bye, Judy. Yeah.